Righto, welcome back to the Four Wheel Drive Podcast. This is Music by the Southern River Band, Let It Ride, the Four Wheel Drive Podcast on Instagram. All episodes over at Backchat's YouTube. Thank you to our patrons. Get across to backchatstudios.com.au forward slash pages forward slash the Four Wheel Drive Podcast for merch and voice messages. I wanted to get through that quickly because I wanted to get across to the man sitting next to me who is not usually sitting next to me. Yep. It's not Ronnie. Yep, it's here we Jane. are. It's me. It's, it's Morton. It's what, I'm here. Show everyone what you look like, mate. Yeah. Smile at the camera. <laughs> Schoolboy school smile. What are, you, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's my face. Well, Ronnie decided yesterday that he just didn't want to do this anymore with yeah. us. Well, with you specifically, he called out. Oh, I've okay. got a big long thing and I won't read it out. But We sent that to um, – yeah. who is that? Is it, we've got a HR department here at Backchat. HR at Backchat. <laughs> HR at Backchat. It's just down. It goes, straight straight to the, goes straight to the bin. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that and gets w- sent now. And let's talk about the man behind the – behind the. what do we call the um, – Producer? Yeah, we got Dan. Dan from Backchat. And they've, got, they've given me a mic, which is a big mistake. I know nothing about forward driving, but I'm here for the, for the ride. Hey, come on, mate. You owned a CRV. Honda, yeah. What do you own now? Uh, BYD Seal. Nice. Yeah. You're not the shark? <laughs> not the shark. Nah, looking at the shark though, maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> get a full that time. That BYD shark, shark was – people are hyped about that. Yeah, now, and they are hyped and mm. Dan, I think, has got his name down. Um, yeah. I know. Now, I actually like that you're sitting in this chair because – Little do people know because I try and fake a little bit of the stuff I do on here that you know a lot more about four-wheel driving than I do. So you're actually sitting in the chair of the expert, Ronnie, who's who's left us for this yep. session. But I don't, I don't think I'm filling the boots properly. Well, you mightn't have as much knowledge as him, but you I, definitely have more than me. I think we're both sitting here on the same level, mate. Yeah. I don't you, think we're far off from each other. You're far, I've, you're I've f- been bogged in places you shouldn't yeah, be bogged. no, you have been. And, well, as I have, have you, too. So. Yes. Uh, but you do have a diesel mechanic father. I do. So you, you've yeah. just been like, you've grown up. Or well, it just depends on how much I've listened to him, hasn't it? Yeah, but you, you do know yeah. more than me. Oh. I, will, I will give you that. I know this for a fact. Anyway, it's nice to have you there. Yeah, well, where is Ronnie actually? Tell us where Ronnie Yeah, Ronnie's. well, Ronnie, away for the Sydney four-wheel drive show. Yeah, which didn't we, want to take us with him. No. Don't know why. We asked him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just didn't, didn't want to take us. Do you so. reckon he flew business? I reckon he flew business. Absolutely. I reckon he would have too. He's a fir- he's a businessman. He's a first class type of operator. Yeah. So he because last year at the Sydney show he had obviously two. He had did he have two cars set up there? I mean, you just had the Troopy. Oh, it was just the Troopy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. He had three at Perth. Three at if Perth. You're oh, that's your right. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. My range of getting the yeah, yeah. Was that? getting the go around, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't think it'd get the right go around this to, year. <laughs> right next to Ronnie's. Yeah, Ronnie's it, looked, it looked like I was just parked there. It did, um, it did a bit look like you were just kind of <laughs> yeah. you just rolled into the wrong spot. But that is that is where Ronnie is. So if you're heading um, towards the Sydney four wheel drive show, go and find him. I don't. He's. I think he. Oh, actually, I won't spill any beans on what he's actually doing there. But there might be something a little bit different that he hasn't yeah. done before. Oh well, no, that's out, isn't it? Is it? The roaming roaming Ronnie? Yeah, okay, there it is. That's like, out. Yeah. I've seen that. Oh, you yeah, have? Well, I don't have I'm socials, sure I've seen so it. Yeah, I know. haven't seen it. No, he's, he'll be roaming around, so go and, go and find him. You'll, you'll have a good chat with yeah. him. He's yeah, looking, he's looking for people to talk to. He said he's on every stage. Oh, right. At he's, some point, he's he, just yeah. on every stage. Well, that, that so was, we couldn't believe everything. how busy he was last. No. We spoke about that quite a no. bit on this show, so yeah, we don't need to recover old ground. Anyway. Mate, can you get to On The Radar for us, please? Yeah, go on into the news. Have you heard about the the new – you know Cat? The, yes, the truck like brand. The, yeah, the, yeah, like Caterpillar. Yeah. Have you heard that? Do you know them, Dan? Do you, yeah, they do the big trucks. <laughs> yeah, Dan knows them. They do the big trucks. He's aware. <laughs> yeah, he's all over. Have you stuff. have you seen? Run your eyes across this. If you look behind you. Yeah. They're releasing Ooh. a new Ute. Apparently, allegedly releasing a new Ute. Is that just like a GMC with Caterpillar branding? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I thought the same thing. It looks a bit like a Sierra, doesn't it? That's um, yeah. For those that aren't looking at this, we've got a. Bright Big yellow transformer-looking yeah. American truck. Um, is this out in America? No, this isn't out. This is apparently for next year. What's it called? Apparently, the snake without an A. It's an SNKE. Oh, look, honestly, <laughs> I'm, okay. okay this on. this is very clearly an AI-generated image. Yeah, like the cat logo is not correct. It none of nothing is consistent. It's got six like, exhaust six exhausts. <laughs> Six exhausts on it. It looks like it's lining up for like the Bathurst Grand Prix. I stole that from an Instagram comment. Thank you. The Bathurst Grand Prix. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going for it. Um, it's not yeah, a right. supercar. So this is, are they actually, is it going to be an actual car? No, I don't just, think so. Okay. I think it's fake. <laughs> I think it's completely fake. 
Why? Like, okay. <laughs> Okay, so people are getting all hyped <laughs> about this. There's thousands and thousands of people that are just loving the idea of this. Yeah. It's fake. It's so clearly fake. It does. It is. A f- it would be cool, though, if they did bring something like this out. Like, it, it, it's obviously a fake concept sort of style. Yeah, that, um, it would be. But I think Cat, with the name that they've got. In, it would be very good, wouldn't it? In the heavy machinery industry. Ooh. Your old man would be all over Cat. He would. Yeah, yeah. He, would. he would. Did you ever work on any Cat stuff growing up? Mm. No. Oh, you could have just no, no, faked no, us no into cat thinking yeah. we're an expert in. Trying to get Kat as a sponsor, are we? Um, what is, what's your next on the radar? Because that is clearly... <laughs> that's clearly fake. So not apparently, right. yes, <laughs> that's I know. off the radar. That's, that's a very quick, off the radar honest. thing. So this... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, get it, get it off the radar. So this is, this is the next one. And I spotted oh, this earlier in the year. Come on. Mitsubishi Delica. <laughs> You're just giving us fake on the this radar. Is, no, this is an actual concept out of Mitsubishi Delica. Is it? Yeah, this is a concept car that they re- they re- they released this concept last year. This this isn't fake. It <laughs> it's, it's fake. It's not fake, <laughs> mate. I'm telling you, mate. This this is an actual concept straight out of Mitsubishi. So where's it at then in terms of on road testing? Well, it's a concept, mate. <laughs> it's just an idea. Well, <laughs> but I just wanted to run it past you. What do you think? I don't like it. You know, I like the I like the front passenger seat. It swivels around, so you, you know your kids are misbehaving in the back. You can just turn around and get well. Them the fact that it's spinning it around looks like it's photographed on the moon, or that's that's where they've put it. It's, <laughs> oh, there you go. Look, yeah. look, now you're in the. It is a moon man car, isn't it? Uh, was that? Hang on, go back, please. Yeah. What's the go there? Like a transparent. Yeah. So it's it's like nah, a, it's not real. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you've just taken. You've had. You, you've had. This is your chance in this seat to just. I know. Stay there. Well, mate, I'm the only one coming up with 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 concept cars with on the radar stuff. <laughs> well, like, you, come on, mate. You wanted the segment. Go there's there's there in that corner That's there. Dedica. There you go. Twenty three grand. There's my car sales. Okay. Well, look at this. It's it's not signed off. It's not guaranteed, but it is definitely a product that we've put our hand up for and said oh. we want in Australia. That's Mitsubishi Motors Australia president and CEO Sean Westcott. <laughs> this is something they're looking at. How does it? How do you feel? Honestly, if that was on the road, it would be. Is that more what it looks like? I don't know. Well, that's the – I think that might be the 2024 one. Look, if something like that hit the roads, it would be bloody awesome, but I just don't see it. I don't you ever think see, that would be awesome? I, what, well, the concept, look, it's a cool or? car. It's all that stuff, the fancy that, – that would be a leader in – like that's going to be better than the BYD seal, like Oof. more tech, more – Dan's over there frowning. Didn't yeah. like that at all. Well, can you see through? Can you see through where you're? Yeah, can you see through the bottom of your car? The bottom. No, but I can actually drive it because it's a real car. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a concept. I d- yeah. Every car started as a concept, mate. That's true. That's true. That's very futuristic thinking. I've mm-hmm. learned about that. That's actually really cool to look into. Yeah, the futuristic stuff. Mm-hmm. As long as they don't make them like that, I thought that was absolutely disgusting. No, nah, I'd be. That, that genuinely looks like it's a moon I, man car. I'm actually excited for that because I just don't think it'll ever get there. No. No, I don't think that exactly. But I'll, I'll be, I'm there. happy to sit here in 10 years' time when this podcast is still running and drive my Mitsubishi Delica in. <laughs> that, that, you that had a Mitsubishi spec. Delica on car sales last I week. love the Delica. That was good. Nothing wrong with the old no, Delica. It's good. What What do you think about, so on that car for people that are listening, it mm. had a what looked like a camera. Well, it had a big screen that kind of ran along the, from the bottom of the window along the dash down to the floor. And mm. it showed you the ground outside. So you yep. basically got a see-through yep. car where your dash is. Yeah. What did you think of that? Um, I, it might help you forward driving a bit. Not like oh, a dig at you, but like it might help forward yeah, driving. Help for just sure. seeing your lines and all that. It would help for sure as long as they can't see back in because I like to drive in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see if you want, I've driven with you, mate, and that's, that's true. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll tell you what. First thing you do when you get in the car is just strip down. <laughs> <laughs> it was very weird. I wonder if that's legal. Yeah. Imagine well, getting pulled over and you're in the nut. <laughs> can I, sorry, guys. Can I just, what, what is this podcast? What, what goes on here? We've looked at fake cars never I'm telling you, driving. Episode. It's actually probably not a good thing you're in here because this is <laughs> yeah. about what we talk about. Is this what we're putting one into? Yeah. yeah. If everyone that doesn't know, Dan actually owns this podcast <laughs> and can shut us down <laughs> immediately, so we should. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> the worst bloke's not here. Track. The one, the actual, the, the bloke that's actually meant to be a yeah. four-wheel drive dude. Yeah, he's he's the worst. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the top. It's been a bad. It's we've had a bad couple of weeks. I'm actually we have, but well, people. 
people are still talking to us. <laughs> You're so driving in the nude, mate. It works. It We've works still well. got patrons. We're, we're still going. Um, um, you've yeah, got. True. You want to move on to the yeah? Let's the next go. One? I think we're done with that. Yeah, you're done with that. Yeah. We'll end on you. All your concept yeah, okay, radars cool. that are actually going to come true. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks for the segment. <laughs> Real filler. <laughs> I'm never coming back on again. <laughs> Dan's where, the new. Producer. Where are we heading? You've got a run sheet up well, too, so you may yeah, as well take I do. control. Car sales. Oh, you want car Something sales? Something that we've done okay. for a while now. Yeah, this, this I think it's got. a great segment. People get involved. Now in I've got to get my phone up here because. Do you remember what it was? Oh, challenge in from a listener. So I ran out of. I should have been more prepared on this one because this needed time, this one. So it it's kept me up late last night trying mm-hmm. to find the right fit for these and it, and I found it very difficult. So for people that are – because it's still probably three or – it's only three or four weeks old and I don't reckon Dan would know. Dan won't know. So, he, he does this in all the episodes but he's oh, caught up Oh, I'm sure up, he obviously. does. But, um, so <laughs> Dan, for your information, we, we get sent in car sales – so I'm a car sales fan big enthusiast. Well, the website that sells cars. Yeah, spend okay. a lot of time on there. Yeah. And we get listeners or whoever to, to sort of give us some parameters that I need to go and find a car for. So, for example, the one that I've spent all last night on was uh, the challenge is to find a solid front axle four-wheel drive, which I know you're all over that, mm-hmm. to be built into a Tourer, but it can't be a Land Cruiser or a Patrol, which is basically the first place I go for anything. Land Cruisers, Patrols in the four-wheel drive world. Yep. Take take your money. Take yep. my don't take my money. Take well. someone's money. <laughs> but he's given me three to go. So the first one I'll start with is had a budget. Uh, sorry, had to be purchased for five thousand dollars or less. Yep. Tough. Tough to be. It's a tough find. Tough to find a solid any front car. Axle, yeah. Well, no, actually, no. There was some. Well, there were some cars under a thousand bucks. Yeah. Tough to find a four wheel drive under five grand, let alone a solid axle front. And then this guy's giving me a budget of uh, – it's from – I don't know who it's from. You'd be able to oh, find Sorry, I think it's from Mark. Um, with a budget of $10,000 to build it back up. Now, the first one I've got – have you have you got it there for us? Got it here. Is a Disco. A Land Rover Discovery, 1997. It's actually it, – it's on the ad it says it's a uh, the 4.5-litre petrol – Doesn't or, look uh, too Diesel, bad. sorry. Um, it's actually the V8 engine in this, which I didn't really want to go near, but we had to go near it basically because there was so many, so few to choose from down down this low that I've pretty much just had to take anything. But it's got the capability to be, to be built into a tour, obviously, with the um, and it's quite clean inside. It's a manual. Um, we've got the transfer cases rebuilt in 2022. It's got fresh-ish tyres on it. Comes with a light bar and spotlights, disconnected though, so you've got to hook them up. Mm. Roof rack, obviously pretty old school roof rack. Just um, two bars. Little bull bar at the front, external ladder. Can be built into a Tourer with $10,000. Does need a starter motor fixed. But there is – I don't want to spend too much time on this because yeah. it was hard. Well, yeah, it was is, so yeah. hard to get one. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a solid axle vehicle. All the, all the discos up to 2004. So there is that, and it had two hundred twenty thousand k's on the clock. If I didn't say that, two hundred twenty. It's only got two hundred twenty. Yep. I feel like it would have more. No, really, it doesn't. Wow. So that that was that one. Moving on okay. to my mid tier pick. Yeah. So. Oh, the Land Rover one ten. Yeah. So Land Rovers were my friend. Jeff would like this. Yes, he would. Mm. He'd love this. Um, so Land Rovers were my friend, obviously. I think I don't know. They still might be going in the Defender with the or maybe with the solid, solid maybe, front maybe. Excuse me. So this is uh, this has done three hundred twenty three thousand k's. It's a eighty five Land Rover one ten County, which Land Rover people will know what that means. <laughs> uh, it's got the capability to be a tourer. You can put that little oh yeah canopy the, tarp thing on the back there. Yeah. So this is yeah. Um, as you flick through the photos, you'll see that it's actually got you know spare wheel carrier on the back. That might come standard on these. I'm not actually sure. Um, but it's got pretty much everything you need to just get away. So the the parameters for this one was um, to be purchased for twenty thousand dollars or less, but only five thousand dollars needed for repairs and to build into a tourer. So not much you need to do to this. There's not a lot you need to do to this thing. You the, can, um, it's five grand for fuel and yeah. So there's pretty much like a lot of the it's done in the last ten thousand k's. New starter motor, replaced all brake cylinders and shoes. New steering dampener. Like he's ha- he's done the full works to get this up to scratch to sell. Obviously, it's done a few k's, but these things are pretty 
unbreakable, I would yeah. have thought, especially with all that work that he's done to it. Well, I mean, we know they're not unbreakable, but they're fixable. Yeah, yeah, well, they're very fixable. They're very fixable. Yeah, you can fix them with banana peels, <laughs> um, as Jeff told us. So this this is a pretty good choice for under twenty thousand dollars and only having five grand to spend. Um, I've probably missed some of the big ticket items on this one. Um, it's a WA. No, I like it. You got you got your spotties, radio yeah. tires look good, and lifted. And part of the so actually another thing I forgot to add. There's like six messages in this bike. It thing. won't be a comfortable ride though. He said all vehicles need to be able to travel a thousand kilometers and stay off road without resupply for seven days. So that's why the disco, you can stock up the back yeah. of that. This thing, you put that, um, you know, put that little canopy tarp on the back. In. Yeah, I feel like that's up to you though. If you're going to stay out for seven days, it doesn't really. Well, that's just what you pack. But yeah. this gives you the ability to, to pack, to pack it, yeah. that way. So that, that for me was the best choice under 20 grand. And I, I actually quite like. I reckon that's. A I think cool it's car. sick. Yeah, I and, like and that. it's got everything on it. It's just yeah, really it's just like done that. a few k's. Is the only thing. It's, got the, it's got the roof rack, yeah. Because uh, I just I know I was just flicking through images. Yeah, I thought it does. I saw a roof it does rack, have a roof. In this yeah, one. it's got like a roof rack bucket sort of thing on the back. So mm. uh, on on top. Um, but anyway, that that thing's going to take you anywhere. Okay. So the next one, the last one. So the third one was to be purchased for fifty thousand dollars, but absolutely no extra money spent on building up or. Uh, touring accessories. Oh, okay. And as you can see, I've gone the Jeep Wrangler. The Unlimited. An yeah. auto. Is this so, the first auto? Uh, I'm not first sure, auto. I'm not all over the Jeeps. But I just I, I came across this one, $47,500. So it's up towards the top of that 50K mark. But why wouldn't you? You can't spend anything else on it. Yep. It's only done 100,000 Ks. Obviously, they're that petrol V6 engine. Um and pretty much as you go through those photos, it's it's got everything. Pretty much everything's been updated on it. Um, it's annoying me that the engine's a bit crooked there. Yeah, that would be, look a little bit that way. But for 50 grand, mm. everything on that, off you go. It's clearly the auto. most modern. It'd probably be the most comfortable. Yeah, 2015 model. So it's yeah. it's basically brand new in our world. Yeah. And then full touring setup setup's, in the back. Setup's nice. So you're you're going away for two weeks. It's small though. They are they are small, but I I couldn't go a Land Cruiser or a Patrol, so that was the rules. Yeah, that well, yeah, no. I just mean if, you, if you're going to spend seven days out, you'd be packing like Tetris. Yeah, and you'd hope there's only two people max. Yeah, but obviously yeah, you've still got the seats in there, so there's there is room for for the yeah. family. But you you're going to yeah, struggle for seven days. Not a lot days. of room, is no. there? You, you'd have to be small to get to get in the back there. And I'm I'm I do apologise because I haven't like there's the list on this is. As long as the day, yeah. Um, we got jewel, jewel drawers. It's got everything. Room for fridge. It's got everything. But oh, the side door table on the uh, on the rear bar. Yeah, the it's rear good. Door. Yeah, it's, it's I'm good. telling you, it's a good setup. Yeah, it's good. It's a good setup. So for fifty grand, that's what you can get away, and no money to be spent. Yeah, um, I haven't heard that. of the rooftop tent brand. Bush, Bush, Bush buck. buck. You heard of that? Nah, I haven't actually. It's like a pop. Is it a roof tent or is it storage? Oh, it might be storage. Yeah. So there you go. Is, yeah. So anyway. Okay. It's um pretty pretty neat rig, forty seven and a half grand, only hundred thousand k's on the clock. You don't need to spend an extra cent on that. You get it. You have two and a half grand up your sleeve. Yeah. So whoever sent that in, you saying it was Mark? I think it was Mark. Yeah. That tough work, Mark. Like it that, is. that sort of that sent me into a spin. This one was easy, easier. Yeah, you got a fifty grand limit. Yeah, keep That's me out of bad. keep me out of the Land Cruisers and patrols. I was just. Like, Did you find something else that you liked? Like was um, that? Not looking at Land Cruisers and Patrols, did you have a go on you're just like, oh wow, I actually kinda like like this car. Oh, as in for myself or yeah, just like just for the car? For yourself, because I know you're a big Land Cruiser troopy guy. Oh, I actually you started like to deer. I do started you, to you know? look into the um Yeah, like the Defenders are cool cars. You know, like they the, are. the Defenders are cool cars. The Jeep because Lauren had a Jeep once, like a very stock standard Jeep. Like one of these ones. A Wrangler. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't stock standard, it had a couple of little lectures on it, but I just wasn't a fan of the way they drove, so mm. I just I. But something you, set up what, like that, like I could have, if I hadn't been like, if I'd have been doing this gig yeah. when we had the Jeep, yeah, I might have had a different story with that Jeep. Like you could kid them out to like yeah, that. You to, can yeah. you can do anything with them. Um, but I do like the look of the old Defenders, like they're out of those. Yeah, out of those, I would be picking the one ten, just because yeah. it's something different. I don't. The Jeep is just. 
I'm not a huge fan of those new kind of style cars where they've got all this technology and all that kind of stuff in them. Like, yeah, the too, too yeah. much. The Jeeps though, they're, they're, I'd be interested to see what Ronnie thought about like yeah. the Jeep because I know he thinks they're capable. He he spoke about the Jeep um, Cherokee, like the early Cherokees. Yeah, I don't know how we would rate the Wranglers. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm just not a fan of how they drive, but that was just me. Yeah. What did, What didn't you like about the driving? I don't know. Just I don't know. Slow, just, like. Yeah, I just you know when that just doesn't feel right. Mm. Maybe that was just Lauren's, a feeling. Lauren's car, I don't know, but I've never driven any other any other one. But I, I do like a Jeep done up. Like they look wicked. Mm. What the Wranglers? Yeah, or just any? Yeah, the Jeep. oh the Wranglers in particular. Yeah, like there were some wicked choices from. Have I said wicked a few times? Yeah, yeah. That's not a cool choices. Yeah. There's some cool choices. <laughs> yeah. Hey, awesome man. Um, but well, that's, um, that's about yeah. Oh, there's see, there's a Cherokee for two Grand Cherokee for. Two grand, a nineteen ninety eight model. Yeah, just wasn't sold. I did, no, you, wasn't you're not sold sure. if it's two grand. Are you you're not? Well, I wasn't one hundred percent sure if it was that. even solid axle. Mm. So anyway, oh, that, there's that Ineos Grenadier that I found. The oh, the Quartermaster. Yeah, one hundred and fifty five um, grand. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. So this is actually <laughs> something that I was. Uh, <laughs> I think Dan's a bit lost. That's a wicked price. This is something I wanted to, to ask you about. The Grenadiers. I've always. <clears throat> When I think of a Grenadier, I think of a really high price price point, right? Yeah, and that's one hundred fifty five grand. But that is at quarter mass. That's done up. That's that's, that's just fully a done lot. up, ready to go. You can get them for eighty grand, not eighty five grand, ninety grand, like, and then obviously the price goes up. But you can you can start out in the Grenadier for around the same price that you're mm. buying a new seventy series for, or yeah. a new ish seventy series. Yeah. From everything Ronnie said about the Grenadier and. There are negatives, but the negatives are footrest. Um, <laughs> the buttons, the buttons sometimes don't work when you go through mud. They're not that big negatives. Why wouldn't you just get the Grenadier? By all accounts, it drives way better than all of these other four drives mm. on the market. Yeah, I, 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 I'm a big fan. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm, Is it just the look? Is it like you, you or the V8? Yeah. Well, I reckon part of that the, kind of thing. Part of the way. Part of the reason people are still so Toyota focused or patrol focused is just because they're tried and trusted. Yeah. Is that tried yeah. and tested? Tried and tried, trusted, and tested. Yeah. All three tested, of the T's. Tried and, yeah. But the triple T. You know, the Grenadier is it's just new. So we don't talk about it like we talk about a Land Cruiser or a Patrol or, yeah. or even a Defender. I just think when I think of a Grenadier, I think 150 grand. Yeah, the price point for me in my head is just so high, but you can get them for yeah. Well, and then relatively, yeah. Think about it. if you go to the lower end of what a Grenadier is, like a a base model Grenadier, mm. you're still getting all that. Like it comes you, with all yeah, that you, stuff on top already, pre wired everything. in the switches. Like you're just hooking up and off you go for yeah. for a lot of the accessories that you need to get started. So I, I'm I am still big on the Grenadier. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning a lot more towards the Grenadier. The, the thing I don't like about it is kind of the look. I yeah. prefer the look of the seventy series. Well, mate, when or you the put, the patrol. What, what about when you put a tray like that on the on the Grenadier? Yeah, I do like that. Like that's see that's that impressive. that setup is kind of is is cool. Someone actually sent in, and I've, I'm I don't have the picture, but someone sent in a fully lifted tires to the max Grenadier uh, yeah. Quartermaster next to a normal Grenadier, and the normal Grenadier just looked like a baby. Yeah, look like a little baby car. What was our um? What was our friend with the really nice? voice that sent the six minute grenadier video in the walk around oh yeah i forget the name i forget his name now all i can think good is good friend of the show yeah all i can think yeah re- <laughs> fuck but anyway i wonder how he's going now i'd love to hear about the drive because that's what i can't people, believe that's all people that. care about mm. over time how does it you know he had a, he had a really nice setup yeah i took awesome a little bit setup. of inspiration for that yeah. Yeah. What and put it in your car? No, I haven't yet. But I'm just, oh, I'm just, just, I'm just making notes. Just You've making got... notes. I liked his draw system in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on, I think there it... was something that you've spoken about as well. Oh, setup. You or Ronnie? The setup. Yeah. In the setup wagon. Just, oh, I just love thinking about just setting a car. <laughs> well, speaking of Never that, done. what are you doing to your Ranger now? Nothing. Nothing. Mm-mm. How have you gone with your? You've got your battery in now. Yep. And nothing. I haven't even plugged anything into the new system yet. <laughs> you were showing it off not not long ago. Yeah, I can show it Super off. Super excited about it. Still don't know if it works. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> no, it does work. Turns on. No, we, well, we've been we've been saying it and saying it and saying it. We do need to prepare mm. for our little little trip away. Yeah, that's all I'll leave it at because people will be like, "What was it? it was five items or seven? 
I think we we were going with seven, but people they're going to be they're going to be spewing that we haven't actually done that. We just keep talking about it. Mm. Well, tell you what, yeah, I've got a few ideas for my seventy six now. All right, what do you want me to run you through them, please? Cool. Have you have you seen the Black Knight seventy six? Yes, insane. Yeah, incredible. Really nice. That is. Is that like, still going around? I think so. Yeah, I'd hope so. That is my dream. As in, like on a channel? On like, is there? Wasn't that on a channel? It was on Ronnie's modified, and then he's been on a couple other things. Okay, but I don't know if he's got a specific channel. His own, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I have seen it though. Unbelievable. Yeah. So <laughs> similar, similar to him. Four spotters on the roof. Yep. Nice. On the rooftop. Just, tent. just in case you need that. Just in case. Yeah. Through. Just in case, like it gets dark and you need to see. Yeah. Yeah. Really like lights. In case Optus Stadium lights drop out and you just need to yeah. power it up. Well, mate. I've, I've, been approached if uh when the lights go out and you want to play footy still i'll just come park on top and just angle down a bit yeah yeah be there that'll work no worries it's plenty of light basically S- the sun <laughs> so the lights but the thing i really like about it is the the setup that he's got in the back yep so that's what it's i'm looking at for mine I've because it, but... i've got at the moment i'm just running two drawers in the back yep air compressor on the left side and then like obviously in the gap between the drawer yeah. and the walls where you put some some stuff. Yep. I'm not sure if I want two drawers in the back anymore. Oh, okay. As I in don't, like, so two drawers, can you stack on top of each other or you just want the one drawer with some with some room to play? Mm, that's what I'm not sure about. See, Ronnie's, Ronnie's running this new setup where he's got he's, – he's just – lifting things out and putting things in as he pleases, right? Yeah. The, the front runner box yeah. that he, he's Can't got. Can't speak more highly of the front runner boxes. You like that. Love them. Why? Well, it just keeps things – but it's all – if I don't need one thing, I can leave it out. Like it's just all – it's, it's all modular. It's always, you know, if I want a different setup pretty tomorrow, fresh. I can. We gave you a bunch of marshmallows in a front runner box. Yeah, and that's – where is that box of marshmallows actually? Probably still around. It would be. See, um, I'm not sure if I want to do that though. If I want to take out, take things out and put things back in every time I want to do something. Well, you don't have to take them out either though. Yeah, I know, but I just, I like the idea of having something that's secure, that's just there all the time, like not, and not a box that I can, it's something about that, like that box system that just seems a bit messy. No, disagree. Disagree. Yeah. But I like the idea, I do like the drawers. See, I, I guess I kind of want to do. Maybe I don't want to get rid of the two drawers, but I want to. You want to? I want to. Yeah. You just want to change, don't you? I do. I do. I do want to change. You're up for a change. I, I've been. I've been talking about this for a little while, not to you guys, but just in my own head, and to mates. <laughs> it's a bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk to us, on, mate. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Um, well, I just want to change. I just want to rip it all out and yeah. just start again and look at it. But I know if I do that, I'm gonna. I'm just not going to know what to pick. Well, and put back in. Put it this way: front runner, front runner boxes. I'm just going to pull them up. I reckon they're so you can go down to BCF and get the good, the Wolfpack Pro, like the good one, for sixty eight bucks. You get three of those. That's basically your, your draw. Well, probably two because they're pretty wide. They'd be wider than your draw system, I'd say. How many did you have in the back of your? I've ranger? got six. You had so you had three in one drawer. Yep, three on one side, three on the other. And that was the full length of the tub. Yeah. But you've you've got all that like it, it just – and it works and you can stack them on top if you want to go vertical. Mm. You can lay them down if you want to go horizontal and slide things on top. It's basically like having a drawer except you can pull the drawer out when you need to put the Yeah, when you need dog to put other stuff or, in. Yeah, right. I, I'm telling you, the front runner – we're not, not – no sponsorship here. Just I'm not, yeah, happy, to, no. happy to though. But <laughs> the front runner – Wolfpack pros, you can't beat. Even for not even for camping, like just if you just like, in general, like I would I would recommend them to Dan. Like Dan, you want you want some front runner boxes? What like just put my stuff in at home? Yeah. Well, yeah, or in the garage if you got a couple of tools, or no. if yeah, when Dan gets on the tool. <laughs> no tools, <laughs> I've got a screwdriver somewhere in a drawer. <laughs> well, you could have that in your Wolfpack Pro True. box, mate. But even, like I'm, I'm they're just a good. All rounder. You don't then if you don't want four or five in your in the back of the seventy six at any one time, you can take that out and you can if you're moving house, you, you just take them out and you you know you put the we can't really lay the fridge down in the back there, but just well, yeah, it, but obviously it, I would have to have them all on one side. Like the fridge isn't you're not. Have you got you got an upright fridge? Yeah, yeah. 
No, wait. What do you mean? Upright. Have you got? Have you got like a? Stand? No, no, no. Oh, you just got a yeah. Normal, chest fridge. Yeah, whatever. chest fridge. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I was looking at the upright fridge though. Yeah. So I spoke with our mate from Dometic. Yeah. Um, Not there anymore. Oh really? Nah. Oh wow. Okay. Um, oh Dan from Dan from Dometic. I forget where he's now. He's gone. <laughs> Not there. Well, yeah. I mean, I was okay. So now, <laughs> you, can't, now, you, now you can't get an upright fridge. Sorry. Well, um, I was talking to Dan about getting an upright fridge. I've talked, spoken to a few people that are getting an upright fridge, like the, the door yeah, opening, yeah. just a normal fridge. I always thought that they were kind of, you know, don't put them in your car. They're, they're, they're just not going to last as long. They're uncomfortable. Um, you don't fit as many things because they're not as big. The uprights. Mm. But they're, they're the same size. Yeah. These, I'm just, these are just yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I'm really looking into it now. I don't think anyone, if I had a wagon, I'd definitely have one. Mm. For sure. Rick, left coast overland. That's that's our friend. Uh, oh, well done. Jeez, yeah. that's good by you. I've just been thinking about Way it. Way off topic too. No, because we should remember that. Yeah, um, Rick. Yeah, yeah mate, the upright I, fridge. I, I'd say go, I'd love you to get an upright fridge and try the front runner boxes. The only thing with an upright fridge is anything that's behind it in your wagon is going to be hard to get to unless you go through yeah, back seats. Um, but if yeah. you've got a cage behind no. your back seats, so you don't, that's all right then. Well, that's the other thing. You know Ronnie's put a cage in his Grenadier? Yeah. Do you see that? Yes. What do you think about that? Um, I don't mind it if you attach things to it. Mm. I don't I don't like it. I like the ability to be able to just go get over the back seat yeah. and get stuff. He's he's much more advanced than what we are though in our yeah. – so he probably knows what he's yeah. doing. But I, I, I don't mind it. Is I like the things that you can attach to them, mm. especially if you're like going to be traveling with the family. I think having like your toiletries and stuff hanging off the back. Oh of that yeah, that's good. Idea. Um, you've got the you've got the net that goes across from your that runs off from your roof, right? That goes from door to door. Oh, and you can throw like your stuff up there. Nah, you, you throw like pillows I, pillows up there. Nah, I I had um I just attached to like hockey straps from my. Um, uh, like yeah, what do you call them? The handles, the door handles, yeah, or the uh, the above yeah. um, grips, and grips. then I just throw hats. Dan, and stuff any on ideas? Them. I think they're called the fuck me handles because it's like when you need to hold on when, oh, when yep. you're driving. Fuck Jeez. me handle. I've got an oh shit bar. Hello. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> just done. I think you. My brain's think you've gone somewhere bit. else with yeah. the fuck me handles. I have. You could do that too. I have gone there. Yeah, you've got a different. Apologies about that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Stop picturing it, mate. Thanks, Dan. You can let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Need a drink of water. Know. Do the 76 have them? Fuck me handles. I don't reckon. <laughs> you don't have them in the front, I don't reckon, on the Land Cruiser. Yeah, no, I, I do. <laughs> oh, okay. How do you know? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, what are we talking about? I've got, I've got an oh shit bar. Oh, you're talking about on the, the front, yeah, on, so the, on the on the dash, yeah, the and Jesus then the, the fuck me handle on the. Just gonna have a sip of water on the on the roof. I don't know about. <laughs> Should, yeah, is that how long we've we been going for? Um, Thirty-eight minutes. Oh, that's oh, pretty good. Okay, quick. Yeah, wow. <laughs> True. No, nah, I, 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 in all honesty, get yeah. the, get the boxes before you get the fridge. Just get two, and. Sh- See how much you can fit in there. I'm telling you, you get heaps. And worst comes to worst, you can just strap them to your roof. Yeah. Do you put your clothes in there? Oh, you've got your. Yeah, I've got the rooftop, rooftop but I can strap things to the rooftop. Um, I don't put my clothes in there at this stage, no. But I've got eight in total. Really? What do you? So how how much does it fit? So I never, say you've brought eight with me. What do you What do you put in there? Say you've got all your food and your stuff and all that kind of stuff. Oh, your well, dry one, food. Yeah, that, one, is that, that all goes in one. Yeah, one's a pantry. One's like cooking gear. Mm. Uh, one is recovery gear. One is tools, and then I'm basically like odds and ends in the other four. Mm. So like I, I haven't done a trip with any on the. Oh, I have done a trip with some on the roof actually, but yeah, I've got ample. Like I've got so many spares. So I've got the front runner roof rack too, so I can just they just hook straight onto the roof. You are selling them to me. No, I'm telling you, they're the best yeah. things ever. I wouldn't. I, w- I wouldn't go any other. Like I, I almost wouldn't go drawers again. I just I just have a way to you just have secure these in the back or on the roof because <clears throat> it's just like if I need to cook I just take two of the boxes across with me to the table. Yeah, because I don't have a like yeah you know yeah don't have a kitchen we, in my car. Yeah, and you can't take your drawers across the table. No, 
So it all just lifts out in one go. Time. You just take it all over. That, it's oh, all, okay, it's really all there. Like it doesn't mix. Yeah. It doesn't miss like no. mix around with the other things. Obviously, you can divide up your drawers and stuff like that. But mm. you can use them as seats. You can sit on them. Pretty good. Pretty yep. Sturdy. You can sit on them. Forget your chair. It, that, yeah, they're just. I'm telling you, get two. Just, I actually think I will. You get paid so much. I want to do what you did to it. <laughs> just get get you get two for a hundred and. Yeah, and do what you did with the hardcore, 40 bucks, roughly. hardcore light, and I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna about that. I need to get that. um, I need to get all the wiring. That didn't come with all the wiring. Really? I probably should have read into that. Oh, so that's why it was relatively cheap. Yeah, maybe. Oh well, you don't need that. Don't need that much, but I just need it. What kind of wiring are you missing? Uh, well, it only comes with like this this long of a um cord, yeah, connector thing, yep. whatever you call them. I don't even know. I need help. <laughs> you really needed Ronnie here today. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, you probably well, know. It's that. not my fault. You Ronnie, probably know. Ronnie didn't want to. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Me and the old boy did all um, did yeah. all the lights on my car. Might just come down to your house tonight. Yeah, but, mate. Feel uh, feel free. All um, right. So are you gonna eat like I like I've um I committed to buying that hardcore light after we spoke yeah, about probably, it. Are you gonna commit to will. buying two front yeah, front runner so. boxes? I think so. Cool. I I'm happy so. for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. I came in here not really. Liking, not really wanting them, yeah. but you know, open mind. And now I'm leaving here with two. I think you get <laughs> so, two. Great. I could probably lend you two to try. Oh I, no! I'd, thanks, mate. You sure. No, if you're going to lend me two to to have, I'll take them. But <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that takes that cancels out the word lend. Yeah, doesn't? well, come on, mate. Anyway, you can. I like it. Set up your just try something different. It's mm. about time, I reckon. And you've got no ideas what you're doing on your Ranger. No, nah, I don't have to. Oh, there's nothing to do. You don't want to do anything. Not at the moment. You're just not. Not at the moment. It. I've got. Um, I'd say watch this space, but we've been watching it for 66 episodes. Um, <laughs> I think you're closer to buying a new car. I, yeah, I reckon I'm getting there. Mm. I reckon I am getting there. So, what are your? If you're looking at new cars, what are you looking at? Top three off your head right now. Top three off my head is some form of Land Cruiser. Mm-hmm. This is top three to buy. Yeah. Can I have four? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have some sort of, nah, four's, a, four's okay. enough. Some sort of Land Cruiser, a Y62 Patrol, a Grenadier, or um, probably not, yeah, probably not going to buy, probably not gonna buy one of these, but they're front of mind at the moment is a Silverado or a Ram. Ugh. What? No. I was just expecting like a Land Rover or a Nah, it's pretty like four standard like, like that. choices in the at, yeah. at the moment. Maybe I was expecting a Delica even. No. Nah. The new I, Delica? I just want to talk about how you say Delica and I say Delica. Yeah. I'd like to understand. I did say this to Jaden earlier in the week when he was going on about the Delica because I've had a, <laughs> a very good friend of mine used to roll around in a Delica. A Delica? Always call it Delica. Okay. And this guy's rolling out Delica. Yeah. I'm just going to – I'd like to hear it's from – It's not Delica. Yeah, okay. I'm sure it's not. I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Is it Delica or Delica? I've, I've, I, not, I, I've not had a good run in pronunciation on this show. I'm happy to stand corrected. I'm, as, as am I. Yeah. Mm. I'll be the Morton Delica. <laughs> Well, I'm sure people are going to race in to comment on that. Yeah. On, yeah. On the <laughs> delicate debate. Well, it, we've spoken <laughs> about this on the show, Dan. There's, there's um, like the – so the troopy community, really tight. Um, the the Land Rover community, really tight. Yeah, really tight. And then I'm going to say the Mitsubishi Delica, Delica. family are quite tight. I'm going to say they're a real tight knit bunch over yep. there at Delicate Town. Well, if they get this podcast sent into their group, <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't think we're going to get many. No, <laughs> probably none. All right, hey, should well, we go to around the fire pit? Around the fire Can pit. Can you cue the fire, Can please, we? Dan? Oh, it's warm. Yeah, warm now. Yeah, after you made that <laughs> comment, I'd be heating up too. <laughs> Red in the face, soon. Um. All right, what have we got today? Dan, are you, you got them ready there for us, please, mate? This is you. Oh, this is... We yeah. need our questions. All right. I don't think Dan's got the run sheet in front of him. Oh. Oh. Fire's gone. Thought okay, you could play boys, at the same time. Uh, you asked for a bit more information <laughs> on the UFOs or whatever it was that I saw. It's kind of hard to explain, but they basically look like giant stars flying around. And they came and went and were illuminated and then they'd go dull 
looked like they were changing colour. Uh, some were bigger than others. It was pretty amazing. I have seen something similar before. So this was like 300 kilometres west of Alice Springs in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And the ones I had seen another time were probably 150k east of Alice. I've also seen Min Min lights at Bullia. I went through there at about 3 a.m. one morning and got out the other side of town, like heading back to Alice, heading uh, west, and uh, pulled up for a number two, me and my mate, and I was actually telling him about the Min Min light and he did not believe me that they were a thing. And I said, mate, we won't see them, but apparently they are a thing. So anyway, pulled up for number two and and we saw them dancing around the paddock and it was bloody crazy. So I actually did get some footage of these most recent uh, UFOs or whatever you want to call it and uh, chucked it into a YouTube vid. Oh. But, yeah, very interesting to say the least. Yeah. That's – he 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 would have, especially out where he's heading – what's that back – I've forgotten names. Our back off road into. Yeah, but what's – Oh, yeah. Regan. Regan, that's right. Yeah. Regan would have some stories. I actually – while we've got Dan here, I'd love to get his, like, thoughts on – now, he probably hasn't heard a lot except for Regan's little update there. But oh, any you... any experience with seeing anything extraterrestrial out there, Dan? It uh, On your four-wheel drive travels? On my four-wheel drive travels, no. But it does it, – like, it makes more sense that there's aliens than there's not. Okay, so like you're a bit how, of a believer in there's stuff out there. How, how big the universe is, there has to be something. It can't just be us, no chance. Yeah. Aliens are real. I mean, I've, I've seen YouTube videos that show you aliens darting around the sky. So. Do you, do you, have you heard of Min Min Lights? Is this what you guys are talking Like, did you guys see this when you were out on, well, on we, the drive back? We sort Adelaide? of more saw like oh, kind I've of actually got our video. UFOE lights in the in the sky like Regan's yeah, talking about. But Min Min lights are the ones that I'm really interested in. I've no, I've never heard of Min Min lights, no. Because they are so... Is it sad, Is it just satellites? No, nah, they're like... They'll be at like eye level with you, like not far away. Then they're like... They're, it, there's a lot of encounters. Is that with, what this is here on, on the screen? Nah, so this is what we saw. So this saw. is what we saw. Slow, well, so this is this is Ronnie's video. These Fine. are just, yeah. We saw, I think from what Regan's describing, we saw a similar thing. To, similar to that, to yeah. Yep. Just lights that would appear in the sky, dash across slowly, like they'd move across slowly and then they would fade out. Yeah, it was so like they, they were moves. moving slower than what this is showing at the moment. Aren't they, aren't they just like little meteors or whatever? Like, that's well, what, that's what exact we thought, same but, pattern, like as in... Pretty much we'd see them from a certain point in the sky and they would fade out at a similar point in the sky but at all different heights like across the skyline. And it was yeah. just – it was, you know. But they also started at like one point on the horizon yeah. when we first spotted them and then they moved. It felt like they moved. All the way across to another but, another side. Well, I Yeah. Well, that settles it. They're real. Well, yeah, there's something yeah, like – that. There, there was an explanation. We had someone talk a bit through what that probably was going to be. But I, I, I just the Min Min lights are the ones I'm yeah. so interested in. Well, There's I've so heard, many encounters with them. I've heard reflection off satellites. Yep, I've heard that too. But I don't. That doesn't. They were too consistent for too long of a period to yeah. be reflection of satellites. I've heard that they could have been. Just satellites going through the sky. Yeah, there's no way there's that many satellites out there. That was consistent over a period. Well, and not in the same. Not in the same area. Location, surely. But anyway, yeah, it's it's it is interesting. I'm, There's a bit of it, isn't there? Yeah, I was not a believer at all, and no. I still don't think I am. But that was weird. That's the first weird thing I think I've seen. Yeah, that was in the, the weirdest bush. thing I've ever seen. Yeah, but pretty cool. Going at back. the same time. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know whether we'll see anything like that again. Just go straight back out to that spot. I reckon we'll see something. You reckon that same spot? I kind of want to see a min min light. Mm. I'll, they, shit, I'll yeah. shit myself when I see it, but I'd love to see it. The stories behind the minion yeah. lights. Yeah. Love it. Oh, well. Righto. Um, Next one, please. Yeah, so this latest encounter, oh, this is Regan again. in my opinion, definitely wasn't Min Min lights. Uh, very different to what I saw at Bullia. But anyway, yeah, I've seen a bunch of strange stuff and uh, still haven't been probed, so that's good. <laughs> Cheers, boys. <Yeah. laughs> All's well that ends well. I'll tell thought. you what, mate. Yeah. You're, you're safer with aliens than you are in the car with you when you strip down. <laughs> More chance of getting probed in the Ranger. Well, I, uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. On, on the um, 
What did we call them before? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. It's all coming back together now, isn't it, boys? Uh, no. Look out. <laughs> You have to we'll put an NSFW warning on this episode, <laughs> yeah, right. I reckon. What does that mean? Like, not safe for work. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, what don't, NSFW don't. is. Don't pretend like you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You know uh, exactly. You know I don't live in this space. Oh, mate. It's, this has been around when you had social media. You haven't been out of the game for that long. No, I don't know what that meant. NSFW. I, no, Do you believe I, a single bit coming out of his mouth? No, believe me. I, not a single thing. Believe me. Slide. I had no, no idea what that meant. Mate. You fuck me handles in the car. You know work. what? <laughs> okay. Just don't play this potty on the speakers when you're in the office. Thank you for learning something new. There you go. Teaching hey. me something new. There you go. Sorry have we, not, have we sorry got for another, not leaving you. Have we got another I got question? one more question. Oh, we do. But it's not an audio one. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you look on panic on your face. Uh, this is from Cam McVeigh. Hey, boys, love the potty. Just had a quick question regarding the new Prado. <laughs> question. Do you just put that in? Put one in. Like, love, g'day boys, love the potty. Or is that, <laughs> is that, you want to have seen, I feel right. like every question starts it's with here, that. It's mate. Oh, yeah, it does say that. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Do I put that in? <laughs> hey, boys, really love the potty. Loving your work, fellas. Yeah. Every time I read one out, mate, they send another one in. It's like, hey, I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually said I hate the potty. <laughs> anyway, got a quick question regarding the new Prado versus 300. I'm on the waiting list for a GX Prado. Going to kit it out and don't need the seven seats. So I went for a base model. Yep. But I'm now looking at it and thinking twice whether it's the right call or if I should go a 300 GXL. Must be nice. Both financially viable uh, but less financial impact. So the question is, is it worth going up to the 300 from the Prado with the price difference or is there value in the Prado? Being brand new and 20,000 Ks less versus a two-year, two-year-old car with 40,000 kilometers on it in the 300. Right. So there's 20,000 less dollars. 20,000 less, yeah. Yeah, right. But 40,000 uh, kilometres more on the 300. Oh, I'm no expert on either one of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> that like, definitely not the funniest great. thing I've said in this <laughs> yeah, podcast, but it got the best reception. Like really he's like, asking for opinion. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no idea. I actually don't really know. I um, <laughs> Look, I'm a big fan of the 300 series without knowing a lot about it. I don't have that money. So I'm not, I'm not buying one of them. And here I am talking about buying yeah. Dodge Rams. <laughs> maybe I'll find that. Maybe I'll come into that money at some stage. I would prefer still the 300 series if I was taking a pick out of both of those. Anything just, I say now though is... Because you like the Land Cruiser? Yeah. Like oh, well, the, I just, the 300. I'd just rather a 300 than a Prado. That's literally what I'm basing this off. But I am excited by the new Prado. Well, they're both financially viable. The yeah. Prado, you've got. If they're both have an extra twenty thousand dollars, though. If they're both financially viable, I'd I would go the three hundred series. You'd probably be more comfortable in the three hundred series, especially being a GXL. Yeah, well, I've driven a three hundred series, more room, and they are bloody good powerful. Cars. They yeah. are nice. But GXL's if you fine. get the Prado, you'll have 20 k extra. If yeah, you twenty k is nice to kit it out. Twenty k to do a bit nice. more. That's a lift tires. Still, Bars. I just like it's a brand new car. Like I'd, I'd just be a little bit wary of buying the first, first yeah, the one first up. one. Like that's the only thing. I'm sure they're going to be fine. Every car's got to start somewhere. But I don't think you can pick wrong. No, nah. I don't think you really make a wrong choice. I would go the 300 as well. Yeah. Where'd you go, Dan? Uh, I have no clue. Yeah. 300 sounds like um that movie. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> that's good. What's that's the other option? Call. 300 or what? Prado. 250. <laughs> 300 oh. or 250. Oh, 300 yeah, bigger. When you so put it that, that way. Yeah. <laughs> when you put Done. it that way. A 250 Prado or a 300 Land Cruiser? Three, a 300, three, Land Cruiser. 300, I feel, would hold its value a, just a little bit better as well. Yeah. I reckon you go and I reckon go 300. Yeah. If price is no issue, go the 300. Cam. <laughs> 300. Yeah, price is no issue. Go to 300. Yep. That's done. That's it. Is that a podcast? Done. That's it. Yeah. You're going through do, it. You're doing the outro today. Do you have it up the top there? I do. Yeah. I've got 23 seconds. As when, soon when, as he hits it. So, Ronnie. Oh, nah, it's all right. Ronnie, uh, just update on Ronnie. Yep. Um, and he'll be listening. He's going to listen to this. He told us. He did say that, didn't he? If he's So, if he's stuck around right till the he end. He won't listen to it. All the best in Sydney, Ronnie. Um, your job may not be yours when you get back. Jaden's been pretty good, and Dan also been good behind the. Yeah, Dan's actually been good behind the. Um, what do you call that? Behind the decks. Yeah, behind the desk. Yeah, desk. 
<laughs> you want to oh, say you, you want to see how Dan's presenting right now. <laughs> yeah. Talk about driving in the nude. <laughs> He's driving the show. Um, it makes it awkward to look over there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if Dan, if you'd like to hit the um, the music, Jaden's going to give us a little outro. Hang on, hang on. So just just quick, can we give Ronnie a? A code word. I just want to know if he's listened to this episode or not. Oh, um, just just a word that he he can put in the group chat to to let us know. That yeah, what can it. he put in there? What's a funny one for Ronnie? Ronnie, just put in "fuck me" handles in the <laughs> in the chat if you've listened to this, mate. Please, <laughs> just just want to know. Yeah, thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> thanks, mate. All right, hit it. Which one? The intro, but all right, that was the four wheel drive podcast. Oh, jeez. Music by the Southern Rue Band. Let it ride. Socials and forward drive podcasts on Instagram. Send us a message, please, or a question. YouTube, where you can watch us. Podcasts available everywhere. Patreon, sign up. Merch voice messages. <laughs> Backchatstudios.com.au. Pages slash the forward drive podcast. Forward slash pages. See ya. <laughs>